Today we're going to get creative with creating a floral cuff on a creative base and add some beautiful spring blooms to it. We're going to start with this bowl of water and your favorite glue gun. Start by adding beads of the glue into the water and as you dispense the glue, create a pattern with it. And at first, it might not be going exactly the way you want, but just keep going because we can always cut away the part that isn't following the path that you desire. The key here is connecting the glue together. So you wanna continually add the glue so that it's connected to the glue strand next to it. And we're creating a cuff here, so it's going to be about an inch in width and about as long as you think you'll need it to wrap it around your wrist. It does take quite a bit of glue to create something like this, so just keep an extra stick or two on hand and add as needed. If you notice that there's an area of the cuff that doesn't have enough coverage, just go back and add more layers. That's the beauty of this technique. Once you've finished, Shake the glue around, dunk it back in the water to let all the last bits of glue harden off. It happens very quickly, so you should be able to work with it just about right away. Lift it out of the water, give it a shake, and now we're done with our water bowl. At this point, you can assess your cuff, decide how long you want it, and cut away the part that you won't need. As you are creating this in the water bath, make sure to start and include a lot of loops and open areas in the glue because that's how you will thread ribbon through to attach it when we're all finished. Now we're ready to start adding some decorative items to the base that will later be our finishing touches. I'm choosing to use this beautiful sheer citrine green ribbon to dangle from my base. You can use absolutely anything for this. You can use beautiful ropes or twines or strips of leather, anything you have around that can be creative. Thread it through those loops that you built into the base when you were spreading your glue and knot it in place. The knots will be covered with the flowers as we go on so no need to be too worried about those mechanics showing. Before we start adding the flowers, add a length of ribbon on each side of the glue band base. That's how you'll attach it to the wrist when we're all finished. Cut away any excess ribbon tails and get ready to add the flowers. 
We're going to start with adding the greenery as the base for our cuff. And I'm going to be using this Israeli Ruscus. It's a beautiful dark emerald green foliage and it holds up very well once it's cut from the stem and glued in place. We'll be doing our gluing today with Oasis Floral Adhesive and it's always good to protect your work surface. Add a dab of glue to the underside of the leaf and then let it sit for a few seconds while you add the glue to the rest of the leaves. By, let, by letting the glue sit and get a little tacky, you'll get a more immediate bond once you start attaching it to the cuff base. Then begin layering the leaves onto the base, creating a beautiful pattern for the flowers to nestle into, and also helping to cover those dangling uh, attachment mechanics that we created in the beginning. Once you've got all the leaves in place, give them a gentle push to make sure they're really making good contact. Our focal flower for this cuff is going to be this gorgeous two-tone ranunculus. I've got it here in three different stages, one very open, one midway open, and one bud. I'm going to cut the heads right off under the head uh, at the top of the stem and allow it to rest on the flower head itself exposing the stem area. I'm going to dry place the flowers first. Practice where I want them so I know what the plan is once I apply the glue to the flowers. Here I've got them angled out just perfectly for a beautiful cuff cluster. Now to the base of each flower I add a healthy amount of the floral adhesive and again, allow the flowers to rest for a few seconds to allow the glue to get tacky before we add it into the cuff. To hasten the setting of the glue, you can even blow on it a bit just to get it to get tacky even faster. Then once you're ready, just press the flower gently but firmly into place on our base. We're going to add an accent to the cuff with this bleached and color enhanced Ruscus. This is an everlasting stem now that it's been treated and so we'll cut it up into bits and glue it in around the ranunculus to bring another layer of texture and color. Coat the bottom of the stems with a bit of glue as we did with the other items and we'll gently lift the ranunculus and the foliage and tuck the ruscus in here and there so it appears as it's all blended together. Because the this particular material is very light, it doesn't require the extra step to set it aside and wait for the glue to get tacky. We know it'll get a chance to get tacky once we add it into the corsage itself. We're going to finish the cuff with the beautiful blooms from a hyacinth stem. They hold up very well out of water and they're the perfect star-shaped flower to add to uh, wearable flower pieces. They also, of course, bring that beautiful layer of fragrance. As you prepare the hyacinth blooms for the glue, don't be afraid to pull their little star-shaped tips up so that you can really get a good amount of glue on the bottom of the bloom. And this not only helps hold it in place, but when you add the glue to the bottom of these flowers where they've been cut from the main stem, it helps to seal in the moisture as well. 
So once you've added the hyacinth in all around, give your cuff a turn and a twist and look between the layers. Turn the glue into the round shape that it will end up being. Watch what happens to the blooms as they separate. Do you need to add some more layers of things just to finish it off? Give it a good once over. Tie the cuff onto the wrist of the wearer and enjoy.